Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the One Mo camera bag from PGY Tech. If you haven't heard of PGY Tech, they make a lot of really awesome accessories for uh, action cameras and a lot of drone accessories as well. But they've also moved into camera bags with the One Mo backpack, which has some really unique features to it. So let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So at its core, the One Mo is a 25 liter backpack, which is actually expandable up to 35 liters. You can tell it has a very sleek, modern design, but within that design are a lot of hidden features, which makes this backpack uh, extremely versatile. There are straps and clips and adjustments and handles all over the outside. Uh, you can see here, when you receive the bag, it actually has these straps um, tucked back into here into these little pouches on the back. And that reveals there's a carry handle here in the middle if you want to carry it like a handbag. There is a carry handle on the side if you want to carry it that way. And of course, there's a handle on top. Um, so they've really thought through all the multiple ways that people use these bags. We'll talk a little bit more about comfort and all the different adjustments a little bit later. Uh, but let's turn the bag back around and check some of this stuff out. So one of the cool things about it um, is, yeah, it looks very modern and very sleek, you know. I've been using the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW for a couple of years, and I love this bag, but it has a very technical, very tactical look to it with the uh, molly straps all over the outside here. So obviously you can, you know, attach pretty much anything to it, but it has a very kind of military look to it, whereas the One Mo has a more urban look to it. So it looks a little bit newer, a little bit more stylish. But even within that, there are just attachments for straps all over the place. Like on here, the little attachment. So if you want to strap on a blanket, you know, something big that you can't fit inside, you can strap it on the outside here. Here on front, down at the bottom, it actually has this little magnetic pouch, which um, you can enter from both sides. You can go all the way through and has a little magnetic uh, closures at the end. Um, when it comes, there are two straps that are carried in there, or you could put something else in there if you wanted to. Uh, that is a great place to keep these straps though. There are two different color options available with the One Mo. This is the Twilight Black, I believe, and is available for $200. And they also have a Olivine Camo, which is more expensive at $220, but is a really cool look to it. Being a camera backpack, and you know, if you want quick access to your cameras, um, PGY Tech has definitely thought about that by having two side access pockets on the side of the camera bag. So this top one, you can see when you open it, there is a pouch right here. And once we get into the main compartment, you'll see that that's all configurable. Um, so you can make this bigger or smaller if you want to and really build that out to whatever you're carrying. Um, also in here, there's a little RFID pocket. So if you have different cards you're carrying with you, you can put them in there and make sure that they're secure and not gonna get scanned. So some really nice features uh, just built into this bag. The way the bag comes, this other side pocket hides another extremely unique feature of this camera bag, which is the shoulder bag. Um, so obviously just fits right in there and can easily be pulled out. And you have another standalone bag, which you can either keep with the One Mo backpack, or you can separate it to take this, you know, out on little day excursions. If you don't want your full backpack, you can take this shoulder bag instead. A quick look at this shoulder bag. Obviously, you can open it up with the zippered pouch. And inside here, um, you can see it has little dividers and different adjustments you can make inside. It has a zippered pouch on top, it has the shoulder strap included in there, which you can attach to use if you want. Um, but then to make this even bigger and more usable, you can also make this shoulder bag taller by unzipping this top expansion, which adds a lot more room into the shoulder bag. So you can really fill it out with stuff for a day trip. Um, so that just adds to the you know overall function of the bag. You can really tailor it to whatever adventure you're going on and whatever gear you're taking with you. Being involved in a lot of drone accessories, uh, this shoulder bag is actually perfect for taking around like a Mavic. Uh, your controller, your drone, all your batteries, filters, anything else that you have uh, will fit in this bag really easily. And it's just about perfect for that. And then you have your, your own separate little drone bag, you know, sitting at the bottom of your backpack if you want to use it that way. It's also great as a shoulder sling if you're just taking your camera out for you know a day trip as well. Not necessarily just for drones. Um, it works great for cameras and other things as well. Over here on the other side of the bag, uh, we have an expandable pouch down here, which uh, would be best for water bottles or for carrying a tripod or Joby Gorilla Pod as well. Uh, there is an always attached strap here, so it's great for strapping things to the side like a tripod. 
And then there's also this uh, pocket up here, this pouch, which has a few different pockets included in that. There's this little mesh container, and there's another little zippered pouch in here if you wanted to put like memory cards or something to save. And then these little elastic bands can be good for cables or you know whatever else you have in here. All of these zippered compartments as well have these little tie downs for locks for your uh, zipper ties just to make it um, harder for anybody to get into your bag that you don't want getting into your bag. So obviously at its core as a camera backpack, the main compartment in here is extremely configurable to whatever gear you have. To access the main compartment, there is a zipper across the top, which would also be how you would access your laptop uh, from the top if you wanted to. They do have a laptop pouch, which we'll talk about. Uh, but you just unzip the entire bag and then this opens up and reveals the entire contents of the OneMo backpack. So this is another place uh, where it comes with some straps. If you want to use these as well, these are a little bit wider, a little bit bigger than the other straps we had checked out for the outside of the bag. Um, but in here, all of these dividers are foldable, so you can kind of set different depth limitations as well to stack things on top of each other. And all of these are Velcroed in, so you can remove every single divider in here and just have one large cavity if you want, or you can move all these down here. To make room for the shoulder bag, obviously you need to remove all the dividers from down here, but I just kind of stacked them up on the side here so you can move those over and set you know, specific limitations if you wanted to put your uh, camera in here and access it from the side pouch. Over here on this side, uh, there is a laptop pouch uh, which has a divider in the middle so you can fit multiple devices in here if you want. You know, a laptop and an iPad, and I believe it'll hold up to a 15.6 inch laptop. All right, so now let's talk about one of the other main features of the bag, which is its expandability from 25 liters up to 35 liters. There's a zipper on the front here that you can unzip. And what that does is that just opens this up to reveal a lot more capacity there. And what you find when opening that compartment is just a big open space with an elastic strap in there. If you wanted to strap down, you know, some shoes or a change of clothes or a raincoat or something like that. PGY Tech also markets this as a great compartment to store a gimbal to take with you. Um, you know, something that you, it's hard to find a decent space for it in the main compartment. You can just store in here in this little expandable uh, pouch up here. And there are a lot more unique features about the OneMo backpack, uh, one of which you might have seen when we opened up the side door. But at this bottom one here, when you open that up, it actually holds uh, three batteries here. So there are three different battery compartments. And the cool thing is there are these sliders at top, which you can see it's green now, and you can slide it to red. So it's just a very quick and easy way to uh, tell the status of your battery. Um, I know if you have one dedicated compartment for batteries, sometimes you just throw the dead batteries back in there and you can kind of forget which is which, but this is a quick and easy way to make sure you're always grabbing a charged battery, which has been really handy. So going back to the strap side of the bag, uh, let's talk about some of the comfort. Obviously you can tell these straps are pretty wide and they're padded, and I found it to be really comfortable carrying around you know, quite a bit of camera gear for an extended time. Obviously, no matter what, if you have a lot of gear and it's really heavy, it's gonna start to wear on your shoulders eventually. But um, I've been used to that with the ProTactic 450 AW. I usually have you know, a lot of gear in there. It's usually packed out. So I'm used to carrying a heavy backpack and I found this just as comfortable, if not more comfortable than what the ProTactic was. There are adjustments up top here for the straps, for the shoulders uh, to make sure you know they're sitting in the right place. Obviously there are adjustments here to pull it up on your back and get it to the right place. And then they also have a adjustable sternum strap, which easily slides up and down here on this strap just to get it in the optimal position across your chest. So a lot of really thoughtful details on the OneMo backpack. And for protecting your gear in the case of, you know, inclement weather, it is water resistant, but down here on the bottom, like a lot of other bags, they have included a special rain cover. So it's just a little Velcro pouch. You can pull that out and attach this to your bag wrap it all the way around to make sure um, that all your gear is safe if the weather turns really poor. And to augment that weather protection even more, there's actually a little pouch up at the top here. You can pull out and pull down another layer of rain protection, which you can pull down across the top here. So just some really cool, thoughtful features in the One Mo backpack. So if you haven't been able to tell yet, the name of the game with the OneMo backpack is versatility. Uh, really building it out to your set of gear and whatever situation you're in. 
It can be great for a photo trip if you're taking that one day and also great for traveling and backpacking and hiking if you're taking that another day. With the expandable pouch up here, you know, the ability to strap any sort of items onto the outside with the different included straps. So far, I've been really impressed with the uh, OneMo camera backpack. Uh, gear is really easy to access and I love how you can configure it to, you know, every single shoot or every single trip. I found it extremely comfortable and the you know, variety of comfort adjustments uh, just make it really easy to use. $200 can be a lot to spend on a backpack when you look at you know, some of the budget options, but the style of the OneMo backpack matched with the versatility and configurations and all the thoughtful attention to detail, uh, I think make this a really good contender for a one bag does it all camera bag. So what do you think of the OneMo backpack from PGY Tech? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5Toys.